Wow, I see there empty glass first day. Wow, yeah. his huh? man is the machine in the master division black belt. Yeah, he's a the a best uh, unbelievable master too. Yeah, yeah. It's That's a, a dude who make me proud to have in my family, you know, because he grows so much. Mm -hmm. That that guy who can say jiu jitsu save his life, he mm -hmm. knows that. As a competitor now and as a, as a coach, huh? as, a, as an instructor. As a leader for yeah. the G13. Yeah. Unbelievable group. And that time, <coughs> we had the best MMA team in Brazil at the time, you know. And Wow, what history, huh? Was it that? <laughs> yeah, it's like learning <laughs> history, you know. In that time, I don't understand, like, uh, the kids. It's very important. Mm -hmm. You know, I remember Zé Beleza have a just kids team. Uh -huh. I, I used to say, wow, that's amazing. But in, in Leblon, he was a, he had a kids, kids, kids team and in, in, uh, program in Leblon and Rio. Yes. Mm -hmm. In that time, I don't think that stuff for me. And, bro, I leave you all that in MMA life, yes and no, because... When I moved from Brazil, mm. I say, I'm done with MMA. I don't want to do more because it's too ghetto. <laughs> and the first dude I met in the United States when I moved is BJ Penn. So <laughs> <laughs> keep going. Life always bring me to there. But in those days, like in Sao Paulo, like, you know, Macaco and Godoy, it was like Valetudo still, no? Yeah. It was Valetudo, not MMA. Like it was anything goes, uh, bare knuckle. No, no? it was. Uh, before, but we start to wear gloves on say stuff called I forget the name they give it for like a Brazilian MMA champion. You know, you do three fights one night. Right, right, right. I, I forget the name. Because Macaco yeah. did some, you know, the fights with uh, with Pele and those, yeah. those guys. And that the is before Pele. Okay. That is like the first same people uh -huh. do the tournaments, but they do like three Brazilian champions like that. Mm -hmm. Three fights three in one division, night. Three fights in three divisions or four. George Pereira fight there, maybe Van der Braga, mm -hmm. but after a while, uh, Daniel, you know, Daniel, I forget his name, but uh, he fight Marcelo Juiz there, mm. and Daniel Rego, sorry, mm -hmm. and I keep UFC, and I decide to kids because UFC too. My dream as a coach, I always be unify the belt for Pride and UFC because I coach on Pride, I coach UFC. I know how important Pride is for the MMA history, you know? mm -hmm. UFC. And I have the chance, like uh, Rampage Jackson and Dan Henderson in London, mm. the first fight on open channel for UFC mm -hmm. on Spike. Mm -hmm. And that's my dream there. You know, and sometimes your dreams going the way you dream or more, or more. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because when you prepare Rampage to the Henderson, we focus a lot on Jiu-Jitsu, which are wrestler guy. A lot of mental blocks, a lot of conflict about the philosophy on that. Wrestlers power up, Jiu-Jitsu use the power against yourself. A lot of situations we face, Oh, I never will do that in my life. And he, he do on the fight. And we have that amazing fight against the Henderson. And after the fight, I to be real, I don't fear there because I'm too, thank God, that moment. You know, I'm not the person who celebrate much yeah. uh, because I know. And when Joe Rogan say, hey, I'm impressed with your ground. And he said, oh, people don't know, but I do jiu-jitsu. A wrestler say, I do jiu-jitsu to unify the belt. To me, that's like a boom. Yeah? So I back to my hotel. I have a bunch of crazy stuff that night because they forget the belt there. You know, the $500,000 belt. I have to bring to my hotel, uh -huh. the, you know, yeah, all yeah, that yeah, stuff yeah. with me. And I come to the parties. You know, to the spike party. And that's my first shock. The vice president from here introduced me to the ladies vice president in UK from the Spike TV. <coughs> and that night I have a rampage, Shea Kong with Michael Bispo. Wow. Everybody wow. won. Wow. Shea Kong will beat uh, Micro Krokop. Mm. First, I think Micro Krokop in UFC. And Bispo beat uh, Matt Hamill. So 
the dude introduced me to the lady, say, oh, that's the coach win everything today. And she said to me, oh, I, I love winners. In my mind, they say, wow, when these motherfuckers lost, I'm a loser. Mm -hmm. And I start thinking, I don't work for that. And I saw the wrestling coach for our team, yeah. with maybe six, seven beautiful Australian ladies. Mm -hmm. And I say, wow, you're the man. And he looked like he anger, saying, no, you're the man. I don't understand what's going on there. You know, everybody with weird faces to me. Yeah. I just understand because when Paige mentioned my name on the cage, you know, oh, the other people's okay. name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I decided to back to my hotel. Mm. It's a very interesting night because my tax cabin have run pages on pictures, you know, yeah, that yeah, yeah. England cabs and stuff. It was and huge. It's one of the biggest uh, superstars. Stars. Yeah. And I back to my hotel and that time we don't have uh, cell phones like that and I come to the media room and I saw have a thousand text messages, a thousand friends who I never seen in my life. And I say, wow, that's not what I want for my life. Mm -hmm. You know what I say? Because I'm lucky everybody talk good about me.